Today, guys, I'm going to show you how to can string beans. Now, these green beans came out of my garden, and the first thing I did was bring them in the house and wash them off and look through them, and then I started snapping them. Now, snapping dream, string beans is really easy. All you got to do, there's two ends, of course, and you're just going to break one end and break the other end. I love snapping drink, string beans. And then you're going to snap them probably about an inch to two inches. Really fast before you know it, you'll be canning. It's just that fast. You sit and watch TV and snap beans. They're easy to grow. They're easy to harvest, they're easy to snap, and they're easy to can. It took me no time to snap these beans for these pints here. It's one, three, six, seven, eight pints. And it took no time to pick them, no time to snap them. It's going, it's going to take no time to can them. So the next step is going to be is you can put salt into your uh, jars or not, but I'm going to be putting a half a teaspoon in each jar. I've got hot water on the stove. And our next step is to fill these jars. So now, got my hot water ready. And when I put these in the jars, you're going to go up to the um, one inch mark around this little ring right here. And usually when I put them in there, I kind of pack them down just a little bit. You're going to fill up to that one inch ring also. Try not to pour too fast. If you can just pour slowly. That helps to minimize the, the air bubbles in your jar. So I always like to try to debubble if I can. This uh, actually gets the um, beans situated in there. 
there's any air bubbles in there, it'll create it to rise to the top. And when I snap them, when I bring them in from the garden, of course, I'm going to wash them. I snap them, and then I, I run some water into the sink, um, fill the sink up a little bit. It creates the string things to float. It also helps you to see if there's any ones that you miss snapping. It also helps you to see the little end pieces that sometimes falls into your bowl when you're snapping, and you can just pick those out. And any dirt that could still possibly be onto the string bean will settle down to the bottom of the sink. Now I patted these down when I put the string beans in like that, and or, or like that, just kind of hit it on the counter. And that brings air bubbles to the top, so I really don't see any air bubbles coming up, but I just like to, you know, try to debubble if I can a little bit, try to, like I said, it kind of helps the, I don't know, it's got too many in it. You can always situate your beans. You can use anything to deep bubble. You can use a, a butter knife. So our next step is, is that we're just going to take and wipe the top off. Now over here on the stove, I have my canner filled up with three quarts of uh, jars of water. Mine doesn't have a line into it, but I always put three quarts uh, jars of water, three quart, quarts of water. Um, that's what the manual tells me to do. And so I have the stove cut on, so it's heating that water up in there. So this water is hot. And I also put a little dash of vinegar in my water, approximately about two tablespoons. Our next step is that we're just going to put the lids on. And you're going to be finger tighten. See how easy this is? Fast and easy. Fast growing, fast picking, fast uh, snapping, and fast canning. Now the, the water's heating up like I said. And now I'm just going to put these into the canner. Now they're in the canner. I'm just going to turn the temperature up to high and put the lid on. So I have a dial gauge here. Now this is on high, so what's going to happen, the pressure is going to start building up in there. Eventually you'll see steam coming out of here. You'll set your timer for 10 minutes. So now I'm going to wait for this steam to come up and set my timer for 10 minutes. And uh, then when the uh, timer goes off, I'm going to be putting my, my weight on here. And then when the pressure goes up to 10 pounds of pressure in my area, the PSI, because I'm up under like a thousand feet, so I'll be going 10 pounds of pressure. So once this dial um, goes up to 10 pounds of pressure, then I'll start my timing. Uh, it will be for 20 minutes. 
once the timer goes off with the 20 minutes, then I'm going to cut my burner off and I'm going to take this canner and move it to the side. And then what's going to happen is, is that once it cools down, this, day, this gauge right here is going to go all the way back down to zero. And you'll hear this little thing right here plop down. Wait about maybe five minutes and then you're going to go, uh, once it plops down, you, then you're going to come and gently take this off, turn it away from your face, and then you'll be ready to take your jars out and let them cool and they'll sit, they will sit onto the counter, counter for about 12 to 24 hours. I would advise to put a towel or something um, on your counter so that it won't mess your counter up. And that's it guys, very simple and easy way to can stream beans. This is Cammie at Never Alone Homestead. I can hear it, the pressure starting to build up. So excited.